Gary Corey first put on the gloves when he was three years old. By the time he was eight, Boxing Illustrated named Jerry the most popular professional boxer in the world in 1968. 1995 inductee heavyweight contender Jerry Corey. <laughs> One of a kind, he really is. Jerry Quarry is 25, son of an ex-fighter. The Quarries are Californians, with a touch of Irish. The father was an itinerant farm laborer, scratching a thin living from the soil, and only just keeping himself off the poverty line by scraping a few extra dollars out of obscure fights in hick towns. Tough. Big if you think I'm tough, you ought to feel my beard. That's why I shave with Rise. And to make it even tougher for Rise, I'm not going to shave for the next five days. One day later, three days later, five days later. Now that's a tough five-day beard. It needs the super soaking you get with Rise. Rise moisture sets up your whiskers, softens your beard. I shave close with no pull and no irritation. Rise, give us the tough one. Back home in California, Jerry Quarry is getting ready for his big night. Do you know what's going on tonight? No. You're being inducted to the World Boxing Hall of Fame. No. He gets now where he forgets how to eat. He forgets how to put on his shoes. He forgets how to comb his hair. He forgets how to take a shower and shave. We have to do this ourselves for him. Well, you're the one doing a lot of it, too. Yeah. Sir simply taking too many too many shots to the head it wasn't any one particular fight it was a combination of over the years of taking punches to the head imagine two decades of your head being knocked around with this kind of force and you can understand why Jerry Quarry can barely remember the biggest moments of his life you remember what they called you I don't remember that. the great white hope oh, I remember that, yeah. Irish Jerry Quarry he still has a couple of moves. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I quit. <laughs> but he's living in a world of his own. Sabres is in trouble. Jerry Quarry gave his heart to boxing. But he also gave his mind. Have you got an idea in your mind at this moment, the way you think the fight will go? Oh, I have an idea, but I'm not pushing it out right now. Because you're a little bit behind on a lot of scores, aren't you? Like reach and height and so on with it. But you are younger, you've got that advantage. I've been a little bit behind on those um, assets of the game, most of my fights. And in the meantime, to make you feel this way? Well, I've grown a year older and gained a lot more experience in boxing. And I've learned how to listen. You've learned how to listen? Who have you learned how to listen to? To my trainer and the people that are doing me good. What you mean is that in past fights you've been doing things which have been wrong? Very definitely. I've gotten ideas in my head that I'm going to do certain things, and no matter whether they were wrong or not, I was still going to do them. And now I realize that uh, I'm not going to win fights this way, so I listen to people that can tell me the right things to do.
At the World Boxing Hall of Fame dinner, fans have come to honor one of the all-time greats. Love you. Thank you, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Johnny. Thank you. Thank you. Draw a circle and align to it. Remember. The greatest of the great white hopes, Jerry Quarry. And James Quarry steps in to help his brother. We thank you very, very much as he always does. Jerry's very proud. He really doesn't fully understand what is happening to him tonight. Jerry Quarry! You remember Jerry Quarry. I've, I've been in the ring many times. And I enjoyed every one of them because there is no quit in the, in the game for me. I love you. In your mind's eye, when you see the fight finishing, how do you see it? Do you see it with him on the floor or what? I see me winning. myself but it, it's a little old you know you feel old yeah, i feel like an old man give all i think perhaps we're watching the last round coming up smile off ali's face there ah ali out to finish it yes it was a last stand i think it was quarry's last gallant effort referee must stop it yes it's all over
Why was Jerry Quarry not the heavyweight champion of the world? Was it really because of the presence of Frazier and Ali, or was there something perhaps that surprised you, maybe in your own in your own preparation for fighting? Was there one moment perhaps that could have made you the champion? That, that well, I, I summarized my entire boxing career in one paragraph. I said, boxing is a cruel and vicious sport. The more cruel it becomes, the more people enjoy it. I'm not an animal, I guess. That's why I never became champion.